Hello guys, welcome back. So in the next tutorial, we are going to create a data stream which will help you get the data from the Salesforce contact object inside of the data cloud org. But before we go ahead and do the practical aspect of it, let's first cover some theory about what data stream is and what do we do when we create a data stream. So a data stream in data cloud is the pathway through which data is brought into the platform from various sources. So from different sources, it creates a pathway and the data flows through that pathway. You can think of it like a pipeline which connects external systems to your data cloud instance. So it's like a channel through which the data flows. So whenever you are creating a data stream, you're going to define a couple of things. The first thing that you're going to define is the source of the data, means where the data is coming from. That is what you have to tell while you're creating the data stream. You also have to tell how the data will be ingested. Will it be a batch ingestion or it will be a real time ingestion? So you have to define that also. And the third thing that you have to tell is what kind of data are you bringing in? What are the fields that you're bringing in? So if you want to pull everything from the contact object, you can select all the fields of the contact object that you want to bring it inside of data cloud, or you can also pick and choose the fields that you want to bring inside of data cloud. So when you're creating a data stream, you're going to decide the source, you're going to decide how the data will be ingested. And the third thing is the structure of the data. Okay, so that is what you will define when you're creating a data stream. Now, the next important thing is once a data source is connected to the data cloud, means once that system is connected, data streams act as a bridge to bring specific data entities into the platform. So it's acts as a channel through which the data flows. For example, you might have a data stream for orders from your commerce cloud instance or a data stream for contacts from your sales cloud instance. And this, the second example is what we are going to do is we are going to bring contact records from our sales, Salesforce uh, org into our data cloud org. Now data streams are crucial for populating your data source objects, which then flow through the data cloud processing pipeline to become data lake objects and eventually data model object. So basically this statement means that when you are creating data stream behind the scene, a data source object will be created and also a data lake object record will also get created. Remember that right now we don't have any records under data lake object or under DMOs, nothing is there, it's completely blank. But when you create a data stream behind the scene, a data source object record is created as well as a data lake object is also created. Now the data source, you cannot see it, but what it is inside of data lake object, you will be able to see it through the data explorer. Okay, so just remember that when we create a data stream behind the scene, a data source object, as well as a DLO would be created, and then we will map the DLO to a data model object. Now, what is a DLO, what is a DMO, and what is a data source object, we'll cover it very, very soon. So just remember there are three different types of objects that Data Cloud offers. One is data source, the other one is DLO, and the third one we have is DMO. Now the next important thing is category in data stream and a question will definitely come from this particular topic. So please pay extra attention. So when you are creating a data stream, you have to choose the category of the data that you're going to bring through that data stream. Okay. There are three categories available, profile, engagement, and other. So when you're bringing data, which is like individual related or company related, that means the category is going to be profile. When you're bringing the data, which basically tracks like reservations uh, a person has made or engagement or website visits, things like that, that is called as engagement category. And anything that does not fit into profile and engagement, the third category is going to be the other category. Okay. So when creating a data stream in data cloud, you must assign a category to classify the type of data being ingested. So what is the type of data that you're going to ingest through the data stream? You have to provide the category for that. This categorization is crucial because it determines 
how data cloud handles and processes the information. So the category is very, very important. And it is important to select the correct category from the beginning as it cannot be changed after the data stream is created. So once you have created the data stream and you have selected a category, you cannot change the category later. So there are three main categories, profile, engagement, and other. Now, what is the profile category used for? This category is used for data that describes an individual or an entity, it means something that you wanted to define, like a noun. Noun can be a company information, it could be a individual information, a business information, a customer information. All of these are the categories of fall under profile such as their demographics, contact information, or preferences. So that examples of profile data include user or device information, contact information. So think of it like a noun. When you're representing a noun, that's when you're going to choose profile, okay? And uh, the next one you have here is engagement. This category represents data about interaction and activities. What kind of order a customer has purchased? What kind of website visits or what kind of downloads the customer has done? So that kind of data is basically categorized under engagement, such as website visits, email opens, purchases, or support case creation. That is things like what he did, like verb, okay? Engagement data is often high volume and requires optimization for efficient indexing. Okay, and an important thing is engagement data will also have a time factor for it. Okay, so let's say reservation, what kind of reservation or hotel reservation a customer has done, it will have like a check-in date or checkout time. So there is always going to be a time factor with the engagement category. Examples of engagement data include website visits, downloads, logins, orders, cases, webinar signups, form submissions. So these all fall under the engagement category. Now the third category we have is the other category. This category is a catch all for data that doesn't fit into the profile or engagement category. So anything that does not fit under the profile category or under the engagement category will put it under the other category. It is often used for unstructured data or data that does not directly relate to individuals or interactions. So anything that is outside of interactions or individuals like company information or individual information, customer information. So anything that is outside of that is considered under the other category. An example of other data include products. Okay, products is like these are the products that your company sells. So if so when you're bringing, let's say, products from a third party system into your data cloud, then when you have to choose the category, you're going to choose the category of other in that case. So when you're creating a data stream, you have to define the category. This is about the data stream. So remember a couple of things here. Data stream is like a pipeline through which the data flows. When you are creating a data stream, you have to define a couple of things. You need to tell the source of the data means what from where the data is coming from. Is it going to be ingested via batch or is it going to be real time? You have to decide on that. And the third thing you have to decide what type of data you are bringing in. You have to decide what fields of the data you are bringing in. You have to decide the category. Is it a, a falls under profile, engagement or other? So these are the things you need to choose when you're creating a data stream. And once you create a data stream, two types of objects gets created, data lake object records, as well as data source. You cannot see the data source records that happens behind the scene, but data lake is what gets created once you create a data stream. And then you map those DLOs, data lake object to DMOs. So this is all about data stream. And uh, in the next tutorial, we will actually create a data stream. So I'll see you then. Thank you very, very much.